So a Vancouver man accused of keeping his autistic sons behind a cage door is getting out of jail. The description that the media has taken this issue of this quote unquote cage and the uh, way that this, uh, that this uh, situation is being portrayed, I think it's inaccurate. So John Eckert's lawyer defending his client, Eckhart's scheduled release tonight, comes on the same day the battle begins over who should get custody of the boys. On your side, investigator Dan Tilkin live at the Clark County Courthouse now. And Dan, their biological mother has said she wants them back, right? Right. We first spoke with her several days ago when she explained to us that back in 2006, she gave up custody of her sons to their father because she was afraid of him. Well, she told us that she wants to make things right, and she began that process today. Jonah Bronson has had a couple of chances to see her sons in the last few days. You're up to it afterwards. We'd love to speak with you. I know you folks are going through a lot. Now she'll have a chance to convince a judge living with her in Tillamook is the best chance at a good future. Right now, the six and seven year old boys are in foster care. Their autism and overall development are being evaluated by two school districts. She lives in another state and that takes longer to figure out, right? That's correct. The court cannot currently place the children outside the state of Washington. Police say the boys were kept in a bedroom in this Vancouver apartment by their father, John Eckhart, and his fiance, Elena Higdon. They say their room had a cage door made out of metal shelving similar to this, locked with a clip similar to this one. Police say the room only contained a small bed, no blankets, and had food or human waste smeared on the walls, and the boys were wearing diapers and can't talk. At the same time, their future was being discussed in this courtroom. Their father's was being discussed in another courtroom. He posted $25,000 bail. His lawyer says when other inmates learned about the charges, one threw a cup of human waste into his cell. Jail certainly isn't a, um, a pleasant experience for anyone. I think it might have been even worse for him. It's a, a very good thing that he was let out today, quite frankly. Now, John Eckhart will also get a chance to try to convince a judge that he should get custody of his uh, kids down the road. And his fiance, Elena Higdon, she will get the same chance to convince a judge that she should have custody of her 9-year-old son and 11-month-old 11, 11 son. Those two boys were also living in that same apartment uh, with the other two autistic boys. This will all be set in a trial that will be set in June. Dan Tilkin, K2 News.